Hello, my name is Miles Dowling. I'm one of the anaesthetists here at Queen's. We've developed this video uh, in order to teach you about uh, ultrasound guided uh, needle placement. This video will demonstrate the correct use of uh, needles inserted into turkey breasts using ultrasound guidance. By the end of this video, you will be able to turn on an ultrasound machine, you will be able to correctly orientate an ultrasound probe, you will be able to use uh, optimize the ultrasound image using depth, gain, and frequency, and you will then be able to uh, safely handle the probe and needle in order to advance towards the target. You might be wondering why you need to learn this skill. Well, in clinical practice, it's very useful for placement of central venous catheters and for peripheral nerve blockade. The use of this technique enhances safety by reducing the number of attempts it takes to hit the target and by reducing overshoot or damage to other structures whilst performing the procedure. So first of all, I'm going to show you the olive that we've hidden inside the turkey breast. And this is the target that you'd be looking at, it's a pitted olive. And what I'm going to do initially is I'm going to guide the needle using ultrasound to the 12 o'clock position just above the olive. I'm going to do that like I would do at work. Afterwards then I'm going to run through the skill slowly in bite-sized chunks. In this section, I'm going to show you how to turn on the ultrasound machine, how to orientate your probe, and give you a brief description of the target that you're looking at. So we turn the ultrasound machine on by pressing the power button here. It takes a few seconds to boot up. It's very important that you coat the ultrasound probe with gel. Uh, the gel prevents air getting in the way of your beam and your target, and air impedes the passage of the beam. So it's very important you have a good contact between the target and the gel. The next step is to orientate your probe. I like to orientate the left side of my probe with the left side of the screen, and I do this by tapping. Here you can see when I tap, the right side of the screen is moving, but I'm tapping the left side of the probe. This can be confusing, so I turn the probe around. Now when I turn, when I touch the screen, when I touch the probe on the left, the screen moves on the left. Now I'm going to place the probe on the target. So here we have an image of the chicken breast with the turkey with the olive in it. The olive is the curved structure on the bottom left of the picture. So from the top of the screen we have skin and fat, then we have muscle, then we have the outer layer of the olive, and then the dark layer underneath is the pit, the hole in the olive. So there I've shown you how to turn the ultrasound machine on, how to use the jelly on the probe, how to orientate the probe, and the structures that you're looking for inside the chicken breast. So I'm going to show you how to optimize the image I'm going to talk about gain, depth, and resolution, or frequency. So we've started off with a suboptimal image. 
the target is not very visible, the screen is very dark. So initially, let's try adjusting the gain, which is the dial to the left of the ultrasound machine. By turning it clockwise, we can make the image brighter. Just turn that down a bit again. And we can see that we do have our target on the left of the screen, but perhaps the image is a bit shallow, so I'm going to adjust the depth, which is the dial next to the gain dial. And by turning it clockwise, the image becomes deeper. That's probably overdoing it, so I'll come back till I've got a good view of my target. i turn the gain down again. So, we've adjusted the gain and the depth. The final thing to adjust is the frequency. This requires going to the second page. We are set on gen at the moment, which is general use. We'll set it to penetration and then resolution. Resolution is used for most superficial work and offers the most detail because it uh, uses the most high frequency ultrasound beam. So we'll set it on res. So before I insert the needle, it's important to have a good view of the target and to have the optimum chance of seeing the needle before it hits the target. And I do this by moving the probe forwards and backwards. If I have the target here on the right of the screen, I know my needle is coming in from the right, but there is a very short distance before it hits the target. So by pushing the probe towards me, I now bring the target over to the left of the screen. This means that over to the right of the screen I have a large area where I'll be able to see my needle. So we've optimised our image, and now it's time to insert the needle. The most important thing to start with is how you hold the needle. You should hold it in a pinch, like you're holding a pen or a pencil. It's important to insert the needle in the midpoint of the edge of the ultrasound probe because the ultrasound beam is very narrow. And if you don't insert it right in the middle, you're likely to miss the beam altogether. Now I've inserted the needle about a centimeter and now I'm going to look for the needle tip. It's very important to find the needle tip because if you lose sight of the needle tip, you could be damaging structures uh, that you can't see or you could be overshooting the target. The beam is very narrow and it's important to keep the needle in the ultrasound beam to get an optimal picture. There are several ways of doing this. Broadly, one can slide the probe up and down the object in a lateral motion and the needle comes in and out of view like so. Then one can angulate the probe and again changing the angle can bring the needle in and out of view as the beam crosses the needle. Another manoeuvre that can be done to enhance the view of the needle is rotation of the probe. Sometimes the needle and the probe can be off axis of each other. When one twists the probe, the needle can come in and out of view. One way of maintaining a view of the needle tip is to slightly oscillate the needle. This can show the movement of soft tissue structures around the needle. This can be done just by gently moving the needle backwards and forwards. Ideally, the needle tip should be viewed at all times and at all costs avoid overshooting the target as this could cause damage to structures in a real patient. And finally, in some cases, pressure. Increasing the pressure on the probe can help improve the view of the needle. So now I've optimised the view of the needle. I'm going to advance it to 
towards the target. Maintaining view of the tip of the needle at all times until the 12 o'clock position is reached on the target. So that's it, we've taken you through the uh, chemical skill of ultrasound guided needle placement. You should now be able to uh, turn on an ultrasound machine, orientate the ultrasound probe, you should be able to optimize the image using depth, frequency and gain, and you should be able to correctly handle the probe in order to safely align the needle and advance it towards a target within a turkey or chicken breast. Take 15 minutes to review the video, Try taking the sound off and playing a commentary in your head. Review any bits that you're not sure of, and afterwards, when you're happy, there will be an assessment of you inserting a needle into a turkey breast. Good luck.